All right, hey everybody. Today I am excited to show off our version 2.0 of our metal case battery. This came in over the weekend and uh, I just I opened it up earlier today. I checked everything out. I'm really excited with how it turned out. We got three big upgrades on it. So uh, in a previous video, we did a tear down on this guy and uh, I'll link to that video above, but we kind of showed the insides and, and how everything is, is tied together in there. So we're going to do that again with this battery. I've also compared it to the uh, or I've also done a tear down on our plastic version, which you can see the size difference here. They're about the same width, but this one's a little bit shorter and they're about the same height. So just a little bit of comparison. The plastic's 24.4 pounds. The metal is right at 28 pounds. So there's your, your difference in weight. Um, it's about three and a half, four pounds more than the plastic version. So the three big uh, upgrades on here were the terminal studs. We went from a male stud that was sticking out of the top, which limited um, how many uh, connections or terminals that you could put on here and so we switched to the female style and so you can just use a longer bolt if you want to add more terminals it's a pretty big upgrade and really happy with the way it turned out and how they look so the other two upgrades are internally there's now a crossbar support that holds the cells down inside physically so it's not just foam pressing it down not that there's anything wrong with the foam it's just the crossbar supports a little bit sturdier a little more rugged and so I'll show you that in a minute when we open it up and so the third uh, the third upgrade is going to be the lid is now, or the BMS is now mounted to the lid top. So you get better heat dissipation on the inside. Um, it puts an air gap between the BMS and the cells, but that was a pretty neat little engineering deal they did. You can't really see it, but there's um, some, some weld marks up here where they welded studs on the inside of the lid and then fabricated an actual case to put around that. So we'll go ahead and open it up now and uh, take a look inside. the first peek right, get an idea of what's going on in there so you've got let me get that wire out you got your BMS mounted up here to the top of the lid and then down here you can see the crossbar support I'll show that in a little more detail in a second right now I want to get these apart so I'm gonna go ahead and take the terminal studs off Put a little piece of tape on here to keep it out of trouble. Wires off. All right, so now the lid is free. All right, so real quick, I wanted to show, uh, you can see the positive cable is a 6AWG wire. So that's also another uh, upgrade from the original plastic case version. This was actually also on our first metal case version as well, but just to show that off, um, comes with a little heat covering on it, fiberglass, um, but 6AWG wire is what we've gone with now on here for the positive, and then the two negatives are both 10AWG, uh, both easily capable of handling the max amps that are gonna get pushed through this. So with that crossbar support, you can see that, it's pretty cool. Um, you can see how it's kind of engineered in there. And that keeps the cells down, and then the foam on the sides just keeps it from, from shifting around. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. I really like the way that came out. Next up is gonna be the BMS. You can see on the BMS is actually mounted now to the lid. In fact, I'll take it off real quick. And that, and there you have it. That is basically torn down. So uh, on the BMS, you can see the plate that was fabricated to put on it. Uh, it's pretty nice. Check that out really happy with how that came out so it's actually screwed in to the bms to the jbd uh, 100 amp bms here and then it's got holes to allow it to be mounted to the lid top so then on the lid you can see they are welded on uh, standoffs and so it keeps it nicely off of there on the back side uh, it's just a foam cushion here so and that's to keep because under the foam I'll show you is electronics and stuff so you don't want that touching the bare metal or even bumping it so it's covered with pretty thick nice foam there and then the bluetooth is also stuck to the lid with um, like a 3m adhesive foam tape and then the white silicone glue just to add a little extra security and of course they put the white silicone glue on all the terminals on all the uh, screws and that's to keep them from backing off it's just kind of an added security thing you can see it pretty pretty well on there so that's that's about it for the bms really like the way that came out of course temperature probe here and then there's also an onboard temperature probe so it comes with two temperature probes 
you can see the Bluetooth switch here. And the way that works is it just simply cuts the, the power going into the Bluetooth module. So it physically removes power from the module and there's no way anybody can, can get into it and change your settings or, or anything like that. See the inside terminal studs look nice and nice and sturdy. Really like the way those came out. These were okay, so that's really about it. Um, one thing I would note is that on the edge here, I don't know if you can really see it. I think it shows up, but if this were to get wet, water will roll over the edge here and likely get into the battery. So I really don't recommend these. I get questions sometimes, can these be used in uh, high moisture environments or wet environments, rain and stuff like that? The answer is no, um, because of that, mainly because of that. Um, so water would just roll inside. If you need a more watertight solution, I uh, still recommend going with the plastic case battery. But uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm not going to tear open the cells on the battery here because I've done that before in a previous video, which I will link to below and throw a card up above. Um, we actually took the cells out, ripped them apart. In fact, they're up here. So they look a lot like these. These are the cells that are inside of there. They got bus bars on them, of course, and then the terminals, uh, the, the leads coming off of those go into the BMS. There are four aluminum case prismatic cells, 3.2 volts each, um, lithium iron phosphate. So that's what's sitting inside of here, and that's what the brace bar is holding down. So the last thing I'll talk about is the BMS, and I've done or the app specifically for the BMS. So there is a, a, a Android and an iOS app you can use to connect to this. I've done a video walkthrough on the Android version, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. This is just kind of a, a highlight of the changes. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll link to that above and you can see what kind of features are available through the Bluetooth. And with that, that's all I really got. I'm really excited about this one. It came out really nice. I'm very, very happy with, with the feel. It's still got that same solid industrial feel. Yeah, so that's uh, that's about all I got, guys. Um, if you like these videos, um, teardowns, openings, unboxings, and whatnot, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, click the sub button. Next, we're going to do the 200 and the 300. So if you subscribe, you'll get notified when we drop that. Of course, don't forget the bell icon. And yeah, uh, links down below for the product links. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll, I guess we'll see you in the next video.